It is an incredibly huge nation uh, with uh, geographic terrain uh, challenges. Uh, we've got issues, we've got extremely huge cities and extremely less populated rural areas. And so the challenge is to try to serve all of those individuals as equitably as, as possible. And that, uh, the words may come out a bit easy, but the, the application and the practicality of it all is quite challenging. So as a regulator, what you must do is ensure that you do not try to have this regulatory framework that's like a one-size-fits-all approach. You cannot approach uh, the, the issues and challenges of the larger cities are not going to be the issues and challenges and opportunities for small rural communities. So when you exact or enact regulation, you have to keep in mind uh, the, the individual characteristics of those you serve and the communities in which they live. People should not have to move to a big city um, in order to be um, adequately provided for it. The option should be theirs to stay where they're comfortable, but the framework is up to us to ensure that they have the infrastructure needed to be viable in those communities. One of the things you have to do is pause and see where you are in terms of uh, this uh, particular issue. We took a pause, particularly, well, 23 years ago, we took a pause and instituted the American with, with Disabilities Act, which really looked at infrastructure and all of those barriers for those with disabilities. 23 years later, well, 20 years later, um, back in um, 2010, uh, we took another look at the communication space and said, we're not satisfied with where we are in terms of providing options and opportunities for those with uh, special needs. What we saw was that we had to come to terms with the fact that it was a hundred years in terms of the, the telephone opportunities that we said, okay, finally, we will institute uh, relay services. We had to come to terms that it was 50 years in terms of the, um, the manufacturing and distribution of a, a television network that we finally came to terms with the fact uh, that we needed captioning for those uh, to bridge that gap. So we came to those realities and we are continuing to do so through this act to recognize that there are, are a whole host of things that we still need to do uh, with uh, you know, this technology uh, evolution to bridge those gaps. So we're working with uh, manufacturers to ensure that the devices in which they produce have as an option uh, those, the capacity to, to serve those with special needs. We're ensuring that the regulatory framework uh, the, the, the enforcement framework is reflected um, in all of that. So all of us have a job to do in order to bridge that gap because it's so important from an educational standpoint, from a healthcare standpoint, and yes, from a public safety standpoint, because if we allow sometimes more vulnerable citizens to even be more vulnerable uh, with uh, the not having the type of access, not having the type of alerts, not having the means for texting and the like, um, texting to uh, public safety access points, then we are leaving citizens who are already vulnerable and even worse shape than they need to be. So we came to terms with that. And we, for the past two and a half years, have been instituting uh, these uh, you know, provisions of the act. And even though our obligation as it relates to act ends on October 9th, we will not end our uh, quest to ensure that there is as much of a robust engagement for those with disabilities um, as it can be. You on a good day, if you were to walk these halls, will meet dozens, really literally hundreds of, of individuals from different uh, walks of life, from different countries, and what you will find is different as we may look or as different as we may, uh, 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 differently as we may approach this regulatory space, the challenges and the opportunities, there's so many commonalities. We want to connect our communities. We want to improve the opportunities for these communities. We know that broadband is the best, greatest enabler to this end. 
it literally is a transformative platform to bridge these divides. It can connect you with a, a teacher that you do not have in your village. It can connect you in your rural town to healthcare opportunities that you might not you you may not have around the corner. All of these things are made possible uh, by uh, this transformative uh, platform that some of us call broadband, some of us call high-speed high internet, but all of us know that we need to have the infrastructure and it needs to be an affordable infrastructure for all of our citizens around the world to take advantage of. And that is why this meeting is so important because there are great examples all over the world as to how to ensure that will happen.